Well, they just keep on getting better and better and better. Considering our jinx in November, I think Nuno's come up with a fantastic answer to that. 2-0, 2-0, 4-1, 5-1. Improving on every game and every performance. And then culminating in that win today. Scoring five goals for the first game in the se first time this season. And really, it could easily have been eight, nine. I think the way that we were cutting Bolton open so regularly was just testament to the sort of football that we've been playing all season. And it's great to watch. I've never been so confident at this stage in the season. We've never, There's a fact that was or a stat that was thrown around earlier in the week, that the last team to have 40 points this early with Newcastle back in 2009-10, and Wolves the previous season, and both went on to win the championship at a canter, and hopefully that's going to be the same again. I can't see any weaknesses in the team. They've put right a few wrongs that I was pointing out back in September, that they weren't scoring enough goals, particularly at home. But to score nine goals in the last two games at home is fantastic. And, you know, moving on now, the next home game against Sunderland, who also are struggling down the bottom of the table. Complacency is the main issue. If we can focus and build as Nuno keeps talking about and not taking anything too not taking anything for granted, not getting carried away with anything, just turn up for training every day, working hard, bringing it into the match situation. Uh I think it's really, really positive. The next sort of as the games come down thick and fast in December, it's a real chance for us to pull away. I mean, already we're seven points clear before Sheffield United and Cardiff play uh, later this weekend. But hopefully we can just continue and stretch that advantage. In terms of the players today, I thought they were all fantastic. Uh, John Ruddy providing an assist for the fifth goal. It was good to see everybody going and celebrating with him. I thought Costa as well showed some more positive signs uh, when he came on. So that's positive as well and again gives us competition. And again, like I mentioned on Wednesday with the sort of Cavalero-Costa uh, battle, both of them now look in good form. Costa scoring goals. He scored now in each of the th last three games this week. Scoring two today, one from the penalty spot. Um, and it shows as well we've got... Three penalty takers. Bonatini scored a couple. Costa scored on Wednesday, and then uh, Cavaliero today. So that's good. But it's just so many good things about this team at the moment. So many things to get excited about. I didn't want the game to end today when they only put up three minutes of stoppage time. I was gutted. I wanted it to be another 10, 15 minutes because of the way that they were going on. Uh, disappointed to concede an own goal again, and that's two own goals this season. Uh, but you know. We had to give Bolton something to make those uh, few hundred fans who travelled, you know, had something to cheer. And finally, just to briefly touch on it, I don't want to spend too much time talking about Nuno's red card. Um, but it's for me, it's been something that's been coming for quite a few games. He's a very passionate man, and it's a complete contrast to the Nuno that we see in interviews. But he and his uh, backroom staff regularly get in the faces of the opposition's backroom staff. Now today, I thought he's been worse than he was today in other games earlier on in the season. He sort of calmed down over the last few weeks. But today, Phil Parkinson came storming out of his area after a tackle on Jota. And the Wolves bench were all up and uh, shouting at the referee for a yellow card or more. Phil Parkinson then was bursting out of his box and really getting up in Nuno's face. Now, apparently, Tim Spears tweeted at half-time that apparently Nuno was laughing at, at this situation. And I don't think that Nuno did anything particularly bad then, but I don't like the way that he goes up into the fourth official all the time and his backroom staff are always going up to the fourth official after every decision. Uh, but and as I just said, it is complete contrast from the Nuno that we see in the interviews. And I'll be interested to see his thoughts and his... Uh, explanation as to what has happened but aside from that it's been a fantastic week three really good wins backs against the wall against Reading came under a little bit of pressure but some great football on Wednesday night against Leeds and then today against the team I think in the past have been our bogey team and also sort of we've been a little bit complacent in previous seasons against teams who we should win but there's none of that today they really really played well and put 
put away a poor Bolton team. Let me know what you thought of the game today. Let me know what you thought of the incident with Nuno as well, if you had a better view than I did. Anyway, thank you for watching. Sorry for sounding so bunged up. Hope you enjoyed the game. And I'll see you again after the Blues game in a couple of weeks' time. See you later. Bye-bye.